Well, using 20 pound straight fluorocarbon, no snap, right to the swivel that comes on the A-Rig. Um, just polymer knot, it's easier to do it without the blades bent out or hooks on it. Get it a little wet. My first question while you're tying that yep. knot is, why no snap? Because you have the swivel already here. Okay. So you just don't want it getting too uh, crazy and then the, it getting caught on itself. Okay. Um, I know people have use snaps. Maybe it's just a personal preference. But too many, too many breaking points, you know. I mean, maybe you could just put the snap right there instead of the swivel. But it comes with the swivel already, so. I would assume you would need the swivel if for nothing else when casting to keep right. the spin out. Yep. So then you have, you got to make sure when you're doing, rigging up your, your rig, you have the bottom. Yep. So you bend out two bottom ones. Right. So, and then you put, I put two quarters on the bottom and then an eighth, eighth and eighth. Okay. The middle and the top two. Is that a specific brand of this is, head? Yeah, this is a Gamagatsu uh, um, swim bait hook, and it's uh, it's got a screw lock keeper, which mm -hmm. is really nice when oh, you put the yeah. baits on. Instead of those ones that had the, the rip the bait when you put it on, and yep. if a fish grabs it, it's done. Yeah. You know? And it's funny, I've never fished those before, so I always thought it was a pain in the ass to do the screw lock. Yeah. When you got when you got the bait threaded, but I'll have to. That'll yep. be interesting to watch that. Yeah. So then, jump your up top two. Now I put an eighth, 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 and eighth. So I mean, you could go heavier depending on how deep you're fishing. Okay. I mean, the other a uh, few weeks ago, I was catching them in 55 foot of water on the Alabama rig. Stop it. I do really? it all the time. Yeah. Not many people do it, but I do it. Okay. Six pounds, small mouth. Six eight. Yeah, sign me up. Seven, uh, seven, two, nine last year in the tournament. But it's patience. Slow rolling it. Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. God, just the patience to get it down to the yeah. bottom. But I, I mean, you don't want to go heavy and you get it down there too fast, and then, you know, you got fifty dollars worth of stuff here, and as soon as it touches the bottom, you're not retrieving it. Yeah. So now you got your rig all set up. So I, I can already see. Obviously, you're pulling out two colors. Yep. So you're running, you're running four of the same, yep. and then one that you, and they can bite any of them. Does it, does it matter to you? No, me, I, I mean it's personal preference, and it's worked really, really well for me. I always put this electric blue truce in the middle, and this is a three eight, so it's bigger. Yep. So when you hook them on, get them where you need it, not too far because you want it you want it straight then once you put it on you got to twist it on bring the tail back through oh like that so just twist it on twist them on there spin it back through okay yep and it, 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 so he's nice and straight perfect beats that just slide on and then these ones i put on are three 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 point three and and such an incredible bait and part of their part of the beauty of them is they're so soft and supple but boy when it comes to being on the on the buying them side of things you got to do everything you can and that eliminates right. super yep. glue yep uh, yeah hey, you might have sold me on that already yeah it's a it's a great gamagatsu hook so you can't go wrong there can't go wrong there now what are your percentages of strikes between one of the outer and the inner? I'd say 60-40. 60-40 yeah. being the, 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 the center? The center will be 60. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And it's funny because they really do like this middle color. Walleyes destroy that color. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you gotta take that off. Really? When you're catching too many walleyes, yeah. But they, you know, largemouth love it. Small mouth, love it. But so I'm like, well, I'll just rig up a rig with all those colors, with all the yeah. electric blue truce. It's, it's not the same. Not the same. No. That's funny. All those years on Lake Ontario, making my living trolling for trout and salmon, I was never one of those guys that pattern fish. You know, if you yeah. get, if you get a hot lure going, then everybody wants to put seven more of them out, and that doesn't always. That's not necessarily the key to success. No. Drag 
two is what you want for here. No drag. So you take the reel, drag as tight as you got. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no drag in this. So 20 pound floor, you set the hook on and he's coming in. If he pulls a little bit, if I have to, I just push the button. Huh, gotcha. But gotcha. don't push the button, let go, and then you gotta make first nice. So Ian and I were out and did a video. Oh God, it's gotta be a month or two ago now. And we were talking about this. It was a little early to start fishing yep. this rig. And he was talking about the ferocity of these bites. Yeah, oh yeah. And I've done a little bit of spinnerbait fishing for smallies and, and they can be, they'll try to rip the rod right out of your hand. I'm assuming this is gonna be the same way. Yes, there's, there's. I mean, I'm addicted to it. I mean, and that's why I started throwing it in 50, 60 foot of water. Yeah. Because them fish never seen that. Yeah. And when it gets down there, I caught three seven pounders in two weeks doing that because uh, they have to bite it. I mean, it's just, you're a Buffalo guy, so I'm yep, assuming you're fishing Lake Erie, Erie yep. or you're Ontario. Lake Erie. Yep. Okay. And you know, it takes a lot of patience, but to figure out keeping that lure just up off the bottom before it starts to come up, yep. or you're wasting your time. Yeah. You know? Me and you know, fish the tournament. We'll both throw it all day. We'll catch five fish on it for the turn. We'll have a five fish limit. It'll be big. The one that bites is big. Yeah. Right. The, the, out of, out of, let's say let's say today was just one of those days and it was a good day and everything was biting. Is this weeding out the small fish and the rats or will, will the oh, small Oh no, they'll destroy that thing. So when I cast it, you know, I leave it down probably about maybe two feet for casting. You want to cast, you want to get it as far out as possible. So, I mean, I cast it so and probably let go at like. 11 o'clock. So once I cast it, way out there, I hit the water, I click my bail, tighten my line, and I pop that on heart on tight line to get everything straightened out. Then I start reeling it, depending how deep we are, you know, we're in 12 foot or 10 foot of water, is the speed you want to reel it. And then as I'm reeling it, five, six reels, I'll pop the rod tip and start reeling it again. So if one's tracking it, it sees that flare and then, then all of a sudden it takes off again. Yep. They're like, no, I'm eating it. So, <laughs> right, so they right. just come and they grab it. <laughs> oh, yeah. At that time. He's not on the boat yet. I mean, there was no mistake in it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't long. <laughs> first one on the A rig. My first one. Right, that is a toad. <laughs> Blue truce. everybody thanks for joining us today i'm out here today i'll have this out tell me your last name so i can say your whole name eric marson oh that's a good one right <laughs> <laughs> i'm out here today with larry mazer 
Eric Marstenkowski, and we're here showing you about the A rig from Brown Dow Tech. Perfect. This was my first time throwing one of these ever. And we're out here on a night of lake looking for smallmouth. There's an idea of what the rig looks like. Real briefly, I know that there are other companies out there that make these. Tell everybody what separates Brown Dog A rigs from everybody else. Well, you know, there's a lot of A rigs out there. People buy them. They're like, okay, this is a, a good A rig. Well, I gotta change out the swivel, so I have to change out. You know, the blades aren't that good. You know, um, it doesn't come with the swivel on the nose. So this, you buy it. You know, you pay, for, you get what you pay for, and it's a quality A rig. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, heavier wires. People think, well, you need it thin wire A-rig for the thin wire A-rig for flare and all that. I mean these small mounts you catch they destroy these things. Yeah. So, you know yeah. I, I, I have zero issues using the a uh, little bit heavier wire rig. I, I make the flare myself work in you know work in the work in the lure. And as you saw today, yep. Yep. caught the heck out of them, you know. So it was uh you know, it works. As far as trailers, I mean, I know that you've got these lined with Kitex. Yep. Um, it is is how important is the business end here? How important is the meat? Um, I suppose you could get away with anything. You can use, yeah. Axone makes a really, really good. Um, always a paddle tail on there. Yes, I always use a paddle tail. Okay. Yes, you know, and I I like to run, you know, mostly 3.3s all the way around, and. Um, a 3.8 in the middle and then I do yeah. off color okay you so know. so these are a lighter yeah per, the camera's gonna have a hard time picking that up but but these are the lighter chartreuse yeah smaller Kitek in the middle is usually a different color yes. and a little bigger yeah. I mean I, I I mean I run Tennessee shad or sexy shad all the way around and then I put a electric blue truce in the middle okay always but okay. you know but you know these I love you know, the Gamagatsu screw lock head so you screw the bait on, yeah. it doesn't pull off. I mean, I, have, I use a lot of practice heads too, just to use them. You know, I'm not gonna burn them up practicing you know, for a tournament, so. But they hold the bait, no super glue, no nothing. So, yep. you know, the other heads that I throw on, you know, they, they work, but, you know, fish pulls on it, rips it down, bait's shot, and the baits are expensive, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why my first thought was, Man, you got you got 12 bucks worth of just yeah. swim bait heads up, just yeah. swim bait bodies out there. Not to mention heads, and I mean, and like you said, and we lost one earlier. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's just got to make you cringe. It's it's no different than when we were salmon fishing, and you lose a you lose a meat rig and, and a flasher that's a $20. and that's or that's in a, a deep that's, sea. That's a, that's a thirty dollar break off minimum. At yeah. least, yeah. at least, and that and that hurts. I don't I don't care who you are, you know. And granted, you guys are free fish in the tournament and, and that's what the deal is yeah. but the line too and you know and we run straight floral carbon never braid you know there's no stretching why braid. not because in the beginning when we first started doing it we throw braid you set the hook on a fish keep jumping it off or you get him in and you're like oh man that's a big hole in the mouth. okay there's no stretch in braid no so you're when you set on them you know with that big heavy rod you're you're tearing a hole in yeah, because so, we're fishing, we're fishing heavy sticks. Yeah, I yeah. mean, so I put twenty straight twenty pound fluorocarbon, never an issue. I've tried going lighter, you know, maybe down to seventeen pound line, and you know, maybe it'll, it'll cast better. It's not good. Yeah. It, it's too thin of a line, yep. and if you're, you know, any, any kind of wind or anything, it causes backlash. So you know, the twenty pound fluorocarbon, straight. I mean, hundred percent trialing fluorocarbon is what I use. Yep. I've tried using sun sun line 20 pound floral carbon is thinner okay. and it doesn't cast you know so and then you know when you, you're, you're sort of using 20 pound floral carbon there's no drag involved you crank that drag all the way up on your reel yep set on them and bring them in well and, and guys too listen i mean this is he's already done all the guesswork in the let's try this and let's try that i mean i'm not saying and you guys know me I, there's always more than one way to do it but straight 20 100 percent fluorocarbon you know there are certain things that we're showing you in this video that 
if you start there, boy, you're going to be really set up correctly. You can always tweak it if you want, but we're giving you a real good starting point. And then I like to use, you know, if I'm fishing, you know, anywhere from like five foot to 15 foot, I use, you know, three, three one eight ounce heads, the eighth at the top, eighth in the middle, and then two quarters on the bottom just to balance it out. I don't want, ever want it spinning around. So when I have the two quarters, while it's in on, the water right. tracking, so now it's always running true. Okay. You know, and you know, if you're That's fishing awesome. real, real deep water, maybe you want to go to, you know, a three eighths on the, on the bottom and quarters on the other three. But well, that brings up a good point, and you said something to me earlier, which I was shocked at when I heard it. You're fishing these as deep as 50, 60 feet. Yes, I was out a few weeks ago uh, catching them in 55 foot of water. Uh, you know, just up off the bottom, yep. out on Lake Erie, you know, it'll catch five and a half, six pounds small You know, I'm not wanting no life wire. Right, right, <laughs> no, right. Well, and these smallmouth just keep getting bigger every year, so, uh, and they fight like everybody knows. They fight like they, <laughs> and a big, another, like their life depends right. on them. And another, you know, once you open up your A ring, don't bend it at a 45 right at the head, you know, stick your thumb in there, bend it outward so there's a little swoop right so you're not completely out at a 45 and once it's bent out i know it's a pain leave it bent out right don't close it up so it don't get tangled on anything so now you bent the wire back down yeah okay yeah. now you're going to your spot bend the wire back out i'm gonna fish i'm gonna bend it back down it's only gonna last yeah, so long right so it's like it's i don't care even the heavy ones they're just gonna break yeah yeah you can't once it's out leave it out okay all right that'll do it for today on a night of lake Gentlemen, thank you very much. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. Caught my first A rig bass today. Right on. So, thanks for joining us. And as always, remember, keep your tip up. Thank you.